Welcome, curious seekers of ancient wisdom and spiritual enlightenment. In a time when the mystical realms intertwined with the terrestrial, a figure known as Hermes Mercurius Trismegistus, a philosopher of unparalleled insight, illuminated the path to the divine. At his hand, a sacred text emerged, cloaked in secrecy and filled with profound insights, the Book of Thoth. This manuscript held the key to unlocking the mysteries of the cosmos, granting its possessors dominion over celestial and subterranean forces. But the wisdom contained within the Book of Thoth extended beyond the tangible, transcending the boundaries of the physical world. Hermes's journey to enlightenment, beautifully narrated in the vision of Hermes, also known as Pimandres, beckons us to explore the profound depths of the Hermetic tradition. In this vision, Hermes encounters the great dragon, Pimandres, who imparts the ancient secrets of creation, spirituality, and the relationship between the human soul and the divine. Join us as we embark on a journey into the enigma of the Book of Thoth and the mystical realms of the divine Pimander. We'll delve into the cryptic teachings that continue to inspire and guide spiritual seekers to this day, illuminating the timeless wisdom encapsulated within these revered Hermetic texts. The Enigma of the Book of Thoth In an era when Hermes still trod the earthly realm among men, he entrusted his select successors with the sacred tome known as the Book of Thoth. This manuscript held within its cryptic pages the arcane processes by which the rebirth of humanity was to be achieved. It also served as the key to deciphering his other esoteric writings. The Book of Thoth, shrouded in mystery, featured peculiar hieroglyphs and symbols, endowing those initiated into their mysteries with dominion over aerial spirits and subterranean deities. By unlocking specific regions of the human psyche through the concealed rites of the mysteries, one could extend their consciousness, gaining access to the divine and the presence of superior gods. The Book of Thoth held the guide to this transformative stimulation, effectively serving as the key to immortality. Legend has it that the Book of Thoth resided within a golden casket concealed in the innermost sanctum of the temple. Only a single key existed, and it rested in the possession of the Master of the Mysteries, the supreme adept of the Hermetic Arcanum. He alone held knowledge of the secrets concealed within the enigmatic text. As the ages passed and the mysteries dwindled into obscurity, the Book of Thoth vanished from the world of antiquity. Yet, its devoted initiates safeguarded it, preserving its wisdom across distant lands. This revered tome endures, guiding the disciples of this age into communion with the immortals. No more can be disclosed to the world about it now. Nevertheless, the apostolic lineage, initiated by Hermes himself, remains unbroken to this day. Those uniquely attuned to serve the immortals may discover this invaluable document if they relentlessly and sincerely seek it. It has been postulated that the Book of Thoth is, in actuality, the enigmatic tarot of the Bohemians, an emblematic book comprising 78 leaves. The Romani people, historically believed to be descendants of Egyptian priests, have safeguarded this mysterious work since their exile from the ancient Serapeum Temple. Various secret schools around the world today possess the privilege of initiating candidates into the mysteries. In nearly every instance, they have drawn inspiration from the radiant torch of Hermes. In his Book of Thoth, Hermes illuminated the One Way, a path that the wise of diverse nations and faiths have traversed through the ages, seeking redemption for humanity from its darkest depths. Pimandres, the vision of Hermes. The divine Pimander of Hermes Mercurius Trismegistus stands as one of the earliest Hermetic writings that has survived to the present day. Although it may have undergone modifications during the first centuries of the Christian era and suffered from less than accurate translations, this work undoubtedly encapsulates many of the foundational concepts of the Hermetic tradition. The Divine Pimander comprises 17 fragmentary pieces, compiled and presented as a unified work. The second installment of the Divine Pimander, Pimandres, or the Vision, is said to elucidate how the wisdom of the Divine was first unveiled to Hermes. It was after receiving this revelation that Hermes commenced his mission, imparting the secrets of the invisible cosmos to those willing to listen. The Vision stands out as the most renowned of all Hermetic fragments. Within its verses, it unravels hermetic cosmogony and the cryptic sciences of the Egyptians, especially pertaining to the cultivation and evolution of the human soul. While preparing this interpretation of the allegorical philosophy concealed within the vision of Hermes, the author relied on reference works including the divine pimander of Hermes Mercurius Trismegistus, translated from Arabic and Greek by Dr. Everard, Hermetica, edited by Walter Scott, Hermes, The Mysteries of Egypt, by Edward Shore, and The Thrice Greatest Hermes, authored by G. R. S. Mead. Beyond the content of these volumes, 
the interpretation is supplemented by insights derived partly from other hermetic fragments and partly from the secretive core of hermetic knowledge. To enhance clarity, narrative style supersedes the original dialogue-based format, and antiquated language gives way to modern, readily understandable terms. Hermes, during his sojourn in a rugged and desolate locale, surrendered himself to meditation and prayer, guided by the hidden instructions of the temple. Gradually, he emancipated his higher consciousness from the constraints of the corporeal senses. In this liberated state, he was granted access to the mysteries of the transcendent spheres. His gaze beheld a figure both awesome and terrifying, the great dragon, whose wings span the heavens, emanating radiant light in all directions. The esoteric tradition taught that the universal life manifested as a dragon, this great dragon identified Hermes and inquired into his contemplation of the world mystery. Overwhelmed by this vision, Hermes prostrated himself before the dragon, beseeching it to unveil its true nature. The great dragon disclosed its identity as Pimandres, the mind of the universe, the creative intellect, and the supreme ruler over all. Sure identifies Pimandres as the god Osiris, the conversation continued, with Pimandres elucidating the essence of the cosmos and the nature of the gods. This was the beginning of Hermes's sacred mission to enlighten those who would listen. The dragon reshaped its form before Hermes. It was no longer a fearsome sight but a glorious and radiant light. This light embodied the spiritual essence of the great dragon itself. Hermes was elevated into this divine effulgence, and the material world receded from his consciousness. Darkness descended, devouring the light, shrouding everything. Around Hermes swirled a mysterious aqueous substance, emitting vaporous tendrils. The atmosphere reverberated with inarticulate moans and sighs, echoing from the vanished light. Hermes discerned that the light was the archetype of the spiritual universe, and the enshrouding darkness represented material substance. From the imprisoned light emerged a sacred and holy word, which rested upon the mist-covered waters. This word, the voice of the light, rose as a colossal pillar out of the darkness, and fire and air followed its ascent. However, earth and water remained undisturbed below. Thus, the waters of light separated from the waters of darkness. The waters of light birthed the celestial realms, while the waters of darkness gave rise to the sublunary worlds. Earth and water eventually combined, becoming indivisible. The spiritual word, known as reason, moved upon their surface, igniting ceaseless agitation. Pimandres, without revealing its form, conveyed, I, your God, am both the light and the mind that existed before the separation of substance and spirit, and darkness and light. The word, emerging as a fiery pillar from the darkness, is the Son of God, born from the mystery of the mind. This word is reason. Reason stems from thought and divides light from darkness, establishing truth amid the waters. Comprehend, O Hermes, and meditate deeply upon this enigma. The aspect within you that sees and hears does not belong to the earth but is the fruit of the spirit. Direct your gaze aloft to the light. This is the mind, the most transcendent ideal of all. Know that you are made of this divine matter, both you and your offspring. Understand that the divine mind is not subject to change or death, whereas material substance is transient. Eternal permanence belongs to the realm of the mind. Ascend with all your soul to heaven, drawn by the thought of the Father and the logos of the Son. Hermes beseeched Pimandres, What are these I see, O divine mind? What is this light that shines upon me, and these shadowy forms I see in the aura? Tell me the secrets. In response, Pimandres explained the mystical and cosmological elements of creation, existence, and humanity's relationship to the divine. Hermes listened to the revelation of the heavenly secrets and absorbed the wisdom with rapt attention. Thus, his initiation was complete, and he received the mandate to instruct others in these celestial mysteries. At the conclusion of this ethereal discourse, Pimandres vanished, leaving Hermes to undertake the work for which he was divinely chosen. The Hermetic aphorism, as above, so below, underscores the relationship between the microcosm, the individual, and the macrocosm, the universe. As you delve into the celestial mysteries elucidated by Pimandres, consider how this aphorism applies to your life. What insights can you glean from the teachings of Hermes and Pimandres? How can you apply these ancient truths to your spiritual journey and your daily existence? As we conclude our exploration of the Hermetic wisdom encapsulated in the Book of Thoth and the Vision of Hermes, we're reminded that the profound insights offered by Hermes Mercurius Trismegistus remain as relevant and enlightening today as they were in the distant past. The Book of Thoth, veiled in mystery, beckons us to embark on a spiritual journey, 
seeking deeper understanding of the world and our place within it. Himandras, the Divine Mind, invites us to elevate our consciousness, guiding us to contemplate the eternal truths that unite the microcosm and the macrocosm. May you carry these teachings with you, continuing to explore the infinite mysteries of existence. Like Hermes, may you be inspired to share these timeless insights with those who seek the light of wisdom. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the mystical tapestries woven by the Hermetic tradition. Until we meet again in the realms of ancient knowledge, seek the wisdom that connects the celestial and terrestrial, for, as above, so below.